Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD CAD, US dollar, Canadian dollar for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other currency pairs. So let's get started. So this is the chart of USD CAD and as you can see, I am in my personal favorite four hours time frame. So we can see the chart that overall market is in downtrend. There was a heavy selling pressure, but right now market is in a range. <laughs> Again, a range bound market. Please do not blame me. <laughs> USD CAD is in a range right now. Okay. Anyways, let's do the analysis first. <laughs> market is in downtrend. Okay. Overall market is downtrend, but if we look at this particular portion, then we can easily see that market is in a tight range. Market is a market is trading in a narrow range here. Okay, I have do not blame me. Okay, I have nothing to do <laughs> here. <sighs> and I have already shown you in my previous videos behind this tight range. Okay, let me show you again. The main reason behind this range is this particular price level. Okay. Because this is a support that belongs to the year 2017 and right now we are in the year 2021. Okay. Because see, when market was coming down in the year 2017, okay, it bounced from this particular level and after that market went up. Market took support at this particular level and right now market is just standing at this particular support level so this level is extremely important this level is very very important for the year 27 because see this resistance belongs to the year 2016 and this belongs to the year 2020 when market was very much bullish in the year 2016 market was going up okay market faced some selling pressure and market started going down and in the year 2020 when market went up again it faced resistance from resistance from the price level from the year 2016 okay and market came down after that market started falling and since then market is still in a downtrend it's been more than one year and market is still in a downtrend so my logic was okay if a resistance from the year 2016 is a valid one then the support from 2017 or 2017 should still be a valid and we can see that yes it is a it is a valid support and right now market is trying to trying to cross this support level okay because see if we look at this particular candles just look at the candle okay market has formed market has formed a doji doji means an indecision in the indecision going on in the market bulls and bears both are trying their best there is a battle going on between the buyers and the sellers if you look at a previous candle, we get the same picture. Again, a doji. For two consecutive weeks, market formed a doji, which means that there is a big battle going on between the bulls and the bears. Bears who are who are pushing the price towards the downside, they are trying to push the price downside, whereas bulls are trying to take the price up upside. Bulls are trying to respect the support from the year 2017. As a result, there is not much movement in the market. And right now we can see that market is just standing at the support level. Let me draw the lines here first. Okay, so that we can discuss this strategy now. <laughs> okay. So as the market is in a range right now, okay, as the market is in a range right now, forget about the downtrend, forget about the historical chart and all, okay, just forget about it. Right now we are going to discuss what should be our strategy, what, what are the money making spots here, okay. First and foremost, we have got this level on this chart. This is the resistance for the market. You can see that whenever market is going up, okay, whenever bulls are trying to take the price upward they are facing resistance at this particular level so this is a very very important resistance for the market so 
on Monday if market starts going up from here and when market will reach this particular resistance level 1.2136 level then just observe the price if you see that price is struggling ah, market is suffocating price is suffocating <laughs> then you can short the market again if you see that market is still struggling okay then you'll get the confirmation that yes sellers are still present at this price level and you can short the market okay and you'll get the confirmation in the form of a shooting star pattern or a big red candle like this or a price rejection from above once you get the confirmation that yes price is being rejected from above you can short the market okay so this is your first trading opportunity this resistance level your second trading opportunity is this support level this level Whenever market is, market is going up, it is facing resistance from above. But whenever it is coming down, it is getting support at this price level. Okay. It's 1.2029. Okay. So this level is also equally important as a support. So on Monday, if market comes down to this particular price level, then you can go for a buy order. If you see that price is being rejected from below, if you see that market is about to reverse from here or bounce from here, then you'll get the confirmation that yes, this is a valid support and you can go for a buy order. And in case market, in case market crosses this level, okay, then you'll get this level as your next support. Okay, this level. So this is your resistance. This is your support one and this level is your support okay so if market goes up you can short the market here and if market comes down to this particular price level or support level if you see that price is being rejected from below if you see that market is about to bounce then you can go for a buy order at the support level and right now you can see that market is trading in the middle you do not need to trade in the middle as I always say do not chase the market let the price come to you and if you go for a buy or sell order here then your risk to reward ratio does not match so you will so never ever compromise with the trading discipline let the price come to you then only you can make money consistently okay so this is it hopefully you have understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you on monday